Hello, hello everyone. This is Nick the Man once again. Uh, here we have round four of the Veteran Elite Tournament. I'm playing against Krot. Uh, in our first match, we are playing on Highway to Seoul. I am playing USSR, and my opponent is playing Scandi Mechanized, uh, which I believe is one of his favorite decks. Uh, it is one of the ones he's more comfortable with, uh, which is why I'm bringing out Soviets. It's one of my comfortable decks, and Soviets has a lot of really, really good tools for dealing with spam. Buratino, Jurgen, exceptional at stunning up clumps of infantry and tanks. Um, I should have heavier tanks than he's able to bring out. The heaviest tank he should be able to bring out is the Sturv 103D. Uh, these aren't these tanks have enough armor that they should be able to bully them pretty effectively. Um, and I got cheap T72As for affordable HE output. Um, and yeah, the sun's probably going to be a bit of a meat grinder. Krat loves to use reservists, lots of reservists. And off the bat, I think I kind of want to take like a forward position here and get some Gornos in there is what I'm thinking. Um, and if I want to do that, I can drop off MI8s, but I probably want to stun out his opening with a Urigan, stall it out back here, slow him down. Uh, it's cheesy, it's cheesy, I know, uh, but uh, I think it's going to be uh, important. I am going to keep the fob further back. Um, Krat does like to use the BCAN 1A. He almost certainly is going to try to snipe my fob at some point in this game. Uh, which is why I think starting with a KA-52 is also likely to be important, because I need to be spotting the scout defender either rushing down mid, or the one that's going around the flank, uh, working around through this area and coming back into my spawn. Because if he gets eyes on this, it's gone, and that's a big deal for me. Um, seed missiles on the KA-52 should also help shut down some of the radar AA pieces that he has, although I'm pretty sure his radar AA micro is pretty solid, uh, so we don't want to rely too much on that. Let's get some zoning for mid. Uh, let's get a recon squad for mid. I want to get, I would like to get a heavier tank for this region. Um, but I also need, I don't know, it's a little awkward with, if I want to, if I want to take this town up here up front, I don't think I can actually afford two squads. So we're going to cut that back to one. Um, book is still important, I think. We can actually save our points and call in a, uh, a super from Boris. I think is actually going to be maybe a better call considering the K29 is going to fly up to Boris. Um, so that might be a good first buy. I kind of just want to spread some lines around. Ugh, just a lot of expensive tools in this opening, but it's going to be a slow start, and I think it's going to be okay. The other thing I could do is I could just bring out two T-72As to support that off the bat. I think I'm going to save the points and buy the Super Heavy from the second spawn. Stop. Fire the same position. Stop. Fire the same position. Down. 
and get this UM out. Victoria. Okay. I'm going to pull this back now and swing it out to the left because I want to see if there's one coming around that flank. Moreno's getting back front town. Scout to there. There it is. As I said, I knew this was going to be coming, so taking precautions to make sure we shut this down early and ensure our CVs survive. It's very crucial. We got some infantry support in here. I'm going to save the Igla till we're very close. I need to make sure this actually hits. So accuracy scaling is going to be very important to me. Kill. All right, get that back there and send it out to the side. F-16 AM, okay. Get mortar. It's a good kill. That, but that's all right. I'm gonna pull this back while it reloads. Hop it forward. I'm gonna get this out there on the left. I'm gonna pull this back to spawn and get it out. This forward now. Nice. That's another tank dead. You gotta be careful with this RBS team. We missed it. And he hits us. Time. Pull this back a little bit, let it rearm and repair. Or sorry, let it uh, reload and get rid of that panic. Nice. And you back. Ah, that's a shame. Are we gonna lose it? No, we're not. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. We need to be careful here. You get the big end. Nice. Oh shit, I didn't. Okay, we do get them. Sweet. There goes Salvo in there. I think I'm just going to send a full Salvo. There's not a whole lot of things I want to panic right now, but I do want to deal with that RBS team as best I can. I want to get a BMP. Two BMPTs? Two BMPTs. We got these supplies coming out here for the book. I want to get another one so I can make sure they're in real good shape. It's actually not quite full send that. Let's do... I don't, know, I don't really have good vision control right now. Not mean to buy two BRDM threes there. Got another helicopter coming through. K fifty two really needs to intercept that. It's getting close to spotting it. Come on, buddy. Take it down. Okay. We're all right. I 
I do want to get a CV up relatively quickly. I'm just gonna send that there because we still have ammunition, and I think his CV is probably. It's actually probably an armored CV. That's probably a waste. It's a big shove coming in. Gets hit. Uh, sorry, F16 gets hit. Nice. Let's get a scout out here. He's aware it's been hit, so it's not going to continue probing with that. Man, bad team back there. All right. And this is. We do have 10 HP, so it is actually quite resilient here. There's not a lot I can do about it. Luckily, he doesn't have corrected shot. Yeah, he's going to have a really hard time killing that, I think, actually. I'm sort of tempted to throw a VP into his spawn, but I don't know that it's actually worth that. Spend the effort on counter battery though. Get a crit, that'd be great. Okay, there's actually nothing I can do to change that the way that engagement plays out, though. You want to get some more Gornos in there. Pull these back. I'm gonna throw you at that RBS. Pop's not even hurt at all. It looks like we may have actually vetted up. One, two. No, no, we actually didn't get any XP.
I can get some cheap tanks. He's just kind of spamming ATGM teams without much else going on at the moment, it seems. about right now is planes making this complicated for me. Take this out that way again, make sure there's nothing on the sides. dead. I'm gonna get a scout in there. Let's get some more supplies in there. Wow, we have our fob to work with. He can't firing a gun. We got the F-16AM out. A little too close for comfort with that, I think. Ah, uh, please break line of sight. Please break line of sight. Please break. There we go. We're doing real, real good right now, though, actually. Because we have this VDB, they're uncomfortable continuing to push. T-72As are really, really good for bullying these infantry squads. Don't have enough AP to one-shot us. Let's get the books over. A little bit annoyed using the spot that actually. Fire that shot and pull back. Nice. Tanks back and make sure they get rearmed and repaired. I'm gonna push you forward again. Stop the books. We're totally fine here. We're totally fine here. Okay. Yeah. Need more AA. Need more AA. It's a pity we lost that other book. book. Need some more T72s. Now we're gonna get a CV. I need a CV. There's an infantry CV back there. Run away, 
in this like back there and then march it in so it's hopefully less likely to be detected Okay, we have been making very good use of our bug. US90 back there. Did not need a full salvo of that. We're just going to CV back here too. We'll play off the point advantage we have, force him to do something. Oh, my helis are in. Looking pretty good. Bob, blind Bob sniping still is getting literally nothing done. He hasn't scored a single hit. I'm gonna make it look like I'm hopping buildings over there by faking with the CV. I'm gonna get more Factoria though, because I want more. I mean, I guess he can't really do too much of a heli rush. Start probing into Greg. I think though the fact that he's yeah he's the fact that he's transitioning over there indicates. Okay, we're gonna rotate these tanks. Rotate those scry jets. I think that may have actually killed them already. Just in case. Come on, fire. Wait, I'm actually just going to orbit this back there. Zone 
conceiving. Okay, it's down. Seed plane's down. Let's get a VP. How many alleys we got here? Okay, good start. Yeah, we just, we played that very solidly off the bat, I think. I don't think the Jurgen actually killed anything at all the whole game, but, okay, that's a lie. It killed some stuff. Uh, but it worked the way we needed it to, I think. We're going to take a quick look at the replay and see what was going on with his opening, but I'm pretty sure it did slow him down substantially. Let's take a peek. Just brings him back quite a ways. I guess I should have been firing slightly further back by those trees. But it slowed him down enough to matter, right? Forces him out of position. He has to rush and take this town. He doesn't have his stuff in position. He loses his Sturve in the open. He loses his ATGM teams. And I get to hold this front town, which is very important. And also him throwing... Uh, like 120 points of <laughs> scout defenders away trying to spot the fob and then purchasing the b can and not being able to get anything done with it is a big deal all right we'll move on to game two